Hi Cancer, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant signs. So whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising Sign Cancer, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they can speak to you. With that said, remember they are general readings. Not everything's going to resonate with everybody and that is just fine. You should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your key to the week this week, you have the devil card. So as far as I remember, the devil card has been the most active card of the week, which says that there's still a little bit of that intensity hanging over. Now, in a lot of ways, this is about what we give our power over to. So this week, you're really being asked to look at where is it if you're in a funk, where are you keeping yourself in that funk? Where is it this week that you're giving your power away to something and not allowing yourself to see what the options or the possibilities are? This is kind of like one of those moments where, you know, and we've all got that friend, right? Where we give them like a million solutions and it's like, no, this is the way that it is and nothing else, <laughs> you know, nothing can change it. Um, this is a week to really snap yourself out of that, right? To really, to really ask yourself, where is it that I am buying into this idea that there's only one way to get to where it is that I'm trying to be? For your actions and interactions with the world at large, you have the actions and options this week, should I say, you have the Four of Swords. So this week, it does look like you're taking some rest, right? Which I'm all here for. However, if that rest is kind of feeding into this, well, you know, this is the way that it is kind of mentality, you do need to find a way to snap yourself out of it. Um, all right, like snap out of it is probably what I will say to you. That being said, you are choosing to exercise moments of rest recuperation. And it looks like in a lot of ways, there is a, almost like a kind of meditation here, but it's just not, um, <clears throat> I don't wanna say that it's not healthy meditation, but it's kind of like, you know, if you're going to meditate, you should use that space to clear your mind rather than add sort of other issues, challenges and problems to it. For your communications and conversations this week, you have the Empress card. And this is right underneath the devil, right? So there's a few ways that this could play out. This week, when it comes to conversations, when solutions are presented to you, and it does feel to me like there's gonna be someone that tries to suggest a solution to you, before you shoot it down because it doesn't fit with the narrative that you're trying to tell yourself, before you shoot yourself in the foot and say, no, this is the only way that it can be, like, ain't it awful, or any of that stuff, before you go in there, listen to what is being offered to you, right? The Empress card is Venus, which suggests diplomacy, um, a level of help, assistance, harmony. You've got this with the devil card, which means that there are ways out of the situations that are arising for you at the moment, but you are gonna need to look for them, or you're gonna need to be open to what else presents itself to you. Now, for those of you that work for somebody else, this could kind of be one of those moments where you're getting what you want, but it comes with an added extra. Maybe not necessarily a bonus, but definitely something that comes with it. The reason I say this is, I kind of feel like this week, maybe there is opportunity for you to progress or to get ahead. Maybe there is something new that's opening up for you, but the challenge that you're facing is, um, it's maybe not completely packaged in the the the... the Maybe, you know, maybe it doesn't have the, the bow or the wrapping paper on it that you wanted, but it is still kind of what you wanted. It just comes with some added stuff that maybe you can't negotiate out of. And that's fine. This is about knowing where to bend and when to fold, all right? When it comes to those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, quite frankly, this week, you may be tempted to overspend or to pay more for something. Um, for a million reasons, maybe because you think you're getting the best or maybe because you've convinced yourself that 
only the best will do. This is one of the reasons, one of the big reasons that people never get started on certain things in their lives. Like they tell themselves, no, and when it's perfect, I will release this. When I'm perfect, I will go out and start looking for a partner. When this, when this, when this, and it just becomes another thing to, to make you do more procrastination. There's no such thing as perfection. So this week you may just have to deal with what you're doing. Like the reason I say this is it looks like you have the money to spend. So if let's say you wanna buy a new camera for your business, right? But rather than buy the camera that your budget will allow, it's like, well, you know, I've got this money. It's a massive investment. It means I have to put everything on the line, but I can buy this uh, amazing camera that's like 5,000 pounds or $5,000 and you've got $6,000 saved up. What is the point in that? Why not buy one at a thousand or 2000? And when you get to the point where you're bringing in more money and your savings has grown, then buy the 5,000 cam camera. When you tell yourself like, you know what? No, 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 it has to be like this. You're stopping yourself, right? And maybe you think it's because you want the be like you want to put the most value out. You want to put the best content out or whatever it is that you're trying to do. That's wonderful. But if your message isn't getting out there because you haven't got the right equipment, maybe it's the message that you need to check, all right? There's obviously some sort of doubt in there that you need to squash. When it comes to the, your those of you that are retired or no longer working, this week you've got to look at your budget. Where are you overspending? Where are you being frivolous or wasteful with your money? Where is it that maybe you're being overindulgent with your money? Pay attention to this this week. When it comes to your love and relations, you have the temperance card. This is actually nice. And for me, it kind of suggests that whatever challenges or issues you've had in your relationship, you're done with the drama. Now, being a Cancer Moon, we can... <laughs> indulge in a certain amount of emotional drama it's kind of a part of you know however this week it's almost like you because uh, you've got it underneath the four of swords and I kind of feel you taking a step back and saying okay we've done enough of this now enough right it's time to to rebalance it's time to to do the temperate thing it's time to realign this so that actually we can start enjoying the partnership the relationship the connection um, and if this means removing someone or something from your space, from your outlook, from your um, area or arena, it looks like you're prepared to do it, right? That's the thing that a lot of people forget about the temperance card. Although it's a gentle kind of energy, it's very resolved, right? It will right the wrongs, it will balance something out, at all costs and if that means removing something then so be it uh, now for those of you that are single um, this week I would be conscious of oh like overextending yourself you know like when you're constantly available that's when you open yourself up to be um, uh, taken advantage of all right so just anything of that nature this week try not to overextend yourself partnered or single but especially for those of you that are single because it's like walking around with a neon sign that says uh, <laughs> you know um, vulnerable 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 right don't do that to yourself when it comes to your money and materials this week we have the seven of wands and it's underneath the Empress. So, and look, right, with the Devil card, you might try to justify the need to spend money on something this week, and maybe somebody calls you out for it. Maybe somebody says to you, you know what, you don't need that. Do it with what you have, get started there, and it will grow. Um, I just kind of feel like there's a part of you that's like set on doing something a certain way, especially when it comes to the money. Like, no, I have to spend this money. And it's like, I'm not sure you do. You might be convincing yourself that you do. And you know, that's obviously coming from a very real place, um, but you're gonna have to dig beneath the surface this week. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, especially because you've got the temperance card in close proximity um, and the empress above, your physical body your lower back, your buttocks, your thighs, your sort of all of the the pivot point of the middle of the body could be quite tender or quite tight this week. 
Um, and I, the reason I say this is because in my body, I've got this feeling now of like, you know, when you're bracing yourself for someone to poke you or to punch you or whatever, there could be a lot of tension this week. So some really, I'm, I'm not a doctor, I can't give you medical advice, but some stretching, if your body can handle that, might be a very good practice for you this week. And then finally, when it comes to the home and environment, there are some challenges here. I gotta say, it, you know, it looks like there's gonna be some interesting, possibly quite loud or uh, challenging conversations, but they need to be had. This is one of those weeks where um, letting it happen is, is probably the best solve for it. Now, we've got that full moon in the sign of Aries. Full moons always hit people with a Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant quite hard because, you know, because you are ruled by the moon, so. Your, uh, okay, your full moon message is the gate 63 and doubt. And this really, in a lot of ways, it's about casting some light on your doubt or being okay with not having an answer. This full moon is taking place in your career for you, in your career sector this week. So the 10th house for you, uh, especially for those of you that are ascendant Cancerians, to a lesser degree, the sun and the moon, um, that card actually tells me that when it comes to the career or the way that people view you, there might be, uh, maybe for some of you this is imposter syndrome and this is what's driving this need to have the best equipment or you know to present yourself in a certain way and it's like you don't need all of that, you are enough. And maybe that's where this doubt is coming in and that, high, that full moon may highlight it for you because the full moon is a spotlight shines a light on something so that it can be seen in uh, exactly the way that it is right so very very interesting with that said i wish you <clears throat> an abundance of all of that good stuff have a fantastic week as well as best as you possibly can navigate it consciously right one of the things that cancerians do better than anybody else in the zodiac is emotional intelligence use it this week right use it with that said take care and i'll see you soon